My wall is called the peephole wall. When I first started this process, I needed to think about the resources that I had. I took a trip to my dad's winery to explore what was around. There was a huge dumpster in the back that had a lot of trash, which I explored. These were all pieces from the winery warehouse. There was an abundance of these forklift pellets. Some were broken, but some were also complete, so I decided to take one. Also, there was a lot of different styles of cardboard, the plain and the perforated ones. I found these unique circular wine dividers, which I thought could come in handy. And there was an abundance of corks, but I decided to work without them. Over the summer, my dad and I had taken apart the old deck in the backyard. From doing this, we had collected a lot of old nails. Now they were just sitting in our garage, so I thought it would be a good idea to incorporate them in my project. The first step that I did was taking apart the forklift pellet. There were a lot of individual planks, so I thought that they could become a good frame. The forklift pellets already had nails in them. I used the nails that were already attached to the wood pieces to nail both of the pieces together. I then placed big pieces of cardboard in between the wood before I nailed it down. Everything was being held together by the nails that were already in the wood. Of course, there were some nails sticking out, so I had to nail those flat. My next step was cutting up the cardboard into smaller pieces and then gluing them onto the bigger piece of cardboard to create a background pattern. I had all these old rusted nails, so I decided to put them along the sides of the wood to create a decorative element to the border. I wanted to incorporate the circular dividers somehow, so I started to trace their shape onto the cardboard. I cut out the circles and wedged the dividers into the cardboard itself. This created a small window, a peephole. My interior wall ended up being three foot eight inches by seven foot three inches. Sadly, my wall is neither waterproof or fireproof. So wherever it is installed, it has to be protected from the water and fire elements.